Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and we're going to talk about some new albums that are going to be coming out in 2023, things that are highly anticipated, things that people are waiting for, and albums that we are pretty much confirmed will be coming out at this point. Pretty much everything on this list is stuff that I'm pretty certain has been confirmed. There's a bunch of levels here, but we'll kind of go in chronological order somewhat of release date and what's been announced and what hasn't fully been announced, but assume, but uh, so let's just hop into it. Tiesto, uh, the Drive LP, the Drive album should be out on February 24th of this year. Uh, that's up and coming, That that's quick here soon, so. Yeah, Tiesto, one of the biggest players, one of the biggest names in the house music and maybe even EDM as a whole. So very interesting to see how this uh, album will turn out. Then we've got the newly announced Whip Cream EP of Monster Cat, someone you can count on coming out March 3rd, again on Monster Cat there. And so I've been loving Whip Cream's releases as of late, The Dark and Angels, I've absolutely loved. The music videos are a little interesting, um, but uh, I absolutely love the tracks, and so I'm really excited to see uh, what a more uh, developed project from Whipped Cream would look like. A really fun one, M83 with Fantasy. The Fantasy album will be coming out on uh, March 17th. March 17th, uh, we've already got one single. It was Niagara came out, I think early or late in January or mid January. Uh, it was a fun little track, nothing too crazy. Where I'm very interested to see what we're gonna see in terms of uh, the actual soundscape and the actual tone of the project because M83 has known to kind of switch it up very much in between projects. So very intrigued to see this, uh, this new one. And also on the same date, March 17th should be the release of KX5, the self-titled album, KX5. Uh, for those of you that don't know, KX5 is the combination and collaboration of Dead Mouse and Cascade. So two more titans of the EDM world uh, together on a full length project. This should uh, for sure be stellar. And coming out in March, we're not sure when that is exactly yet, but we've got the Sullivan King Thrones of Blood LP coming out on Monster Cat. We've got a couple singles out from this project so far, and this is for sure going to be a heavy hitting banger. This next one is not quite confirmed, but Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa has been teasing through a bunch of interviews, both text and video, that um, there's something coming out, something coming out. She's been working on the last project. She had said at the at the run of her last um, album feature, Nostalgia, that uh, she was working on the third already, her third, and so I'm intrigued to see something like this. Apparently something had been said about early 2023, so maybe we'll see something coming out soon from Dua Lipa, but uh, that's sort of confirmed, sort of not. Uh, we don't know how long some of the stuff could take. So Dua Lipa, hopefully 2023. Next is Elenium with the self-titled Elenium album, the fifth album from melodic dubstep producer Elenium should be here uh, on April 28th is the set release date for that right now. And uh, this is said to be a precursor or kind of a prequel to the trilogy of albums, his first three. And so uh, we've had a couple singles from this really uh, have been released so far. And so uh, we'll see how that one turns out. Up next, we've got the Arm & Hammer LP together as one album art and uh, official confirmation for this album has been out and released on socials, uh, but we don't know when it's coming out exactly. We know kind of general area of around the summer, or right early summer, end of spring, uh, but for now, it's just gonna be 2023, um, and I think it, and I believe it will land on Monster Cat, so that's, uh, that's exciting. And the one everyone knows about, if you haven't, you've been living under a rock, it is Skrillex. We're still not sure how this is gonna work. I've heard a couple can like conflicting rumors of what's been confirmed, that it's actually one album with kind of a two-sided track list, but also it's two separate albums released on different days. I've literally heard everything being confirmed, uh, but at this point we haven't had any actual concrete evidence. And so uh, Skrillex is coming out with something or some things, we're not sure what it is yet, but. It's gonna be big. Haywire is next on this list. 2023 hopefully will be big for Haywire. Uh, there's pretty much just been one solo Facebook comment from Haywire here saying uh, something is coming out. I'm excited to share with you guys after so long uh, a new project in 2023. So this is all we really have to go off of. So um, copium. Here we go. Igloo Ghost is next up on the list with a 2023 project. This one has been confirmed in terms of album art and a something is coming at some point in 2023 with a TME, it appears to be called. Uh, I'm not sure what it stands for at this point, but uh, Igloo Ghost, one that uh, is a little more niche, I would say, but uh, definitely one I am anticipating. And next up, we've got Inzo, the Earth Magic EP will be out at some point. Inzo's currently touring, I believe, North America right now. 
uh, with the, yeah, the Earth Magic Tour of sorts. There's been, I believe, two singles so far. One actually called Earth Magic. But uh, yeah, so some EP from Inzo is coming out at some point. We'll have to see how that one uh, turns out. And uh, <laughs> uh, Diplo is coming out with um, uh, Thomas Wesley Chapter 2. Uh, will be out at some point this year, supposedly 2023. Uh, Thomas Wesley Snake Oil Chapter 1 was not great. Uh, so we'll see if Chapter 2 is any better. And Nero is next up. Uh, Nero had a tweet earlier saying um, in August of 2021 that the third album was on its way. And so I would have assumed it would have been 2022 if, uh, you know, it's third album's on the way in August of, of uh, you know, 2021. But uh, hopefully, this is for hoping more copium that uh, Nero will release their third album in 2023. Glacier is up next. And Glacier had talked about for a little bit about an upcoming EP and how excited he was to share with everyone the new project. And then uh, corrected himself on Twitter saying, oops, I meant LP. And so I am super excited for new Glacier and a debut album from Glacier, supposedly, if that's what this is going to be. Uh, whew, I am, I'm ready for this one. And Laszlo has come back with a bit of a resurgence on socials, being a lot more active now, sharing kind of behind the scenes some weird whip sounds and uh, parts of tracks he's working on, as well as some new art and some new profile pictures and all this different stuff. And so something is hopefully coming up and, and bubbling up uh, for Laszlo in 2023, whether that's an EP, an album that could just be a couple songs, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, something from Laszlo is definitely coming in 2023. Zed is up next, another third album here. Uh, Zed supposedly said on Twitter that they're planning, or an album is planned for 2023. Uh, we will see how that actually goes, because we know that's just planning, but uh, I would be super excited for Zed. The last album we had from him was uh, 2015, so it'll be almost eight years now since the last project, which is crazy because Zed is still a household name in the scene. It's just he hasn't put out an album in so long. It's been a single after single after single after single after single, so um, another Zed album, please. Chime is our penultimate uh, producer here, talking lots on socials about once the album is done. I can't wait to share this album with you guys, the album. So uh, I would suspect this would be a rush down release. I would see no other reason why it wouldn't be, but uh, hopefully uh, a Chime project will be coming out soon. Uh, some record from him. I'd love to see what a really fully fleshed out color base uh, album would sound like. I think the closest thing we ever got to that was kind of more Kismets this this past year, but that wasn't really quite fully color-based. That was its own fusion of everything, but uh, yeah, so I'd be very interested to see what uh, what Chime's got in store for us. And our final thing to talk about is Casbo. This is a bit of a stab in the dark, and that's why I'm leaving it for last. I didn't know if I wanted to put this in, but Casbo uh, has sort of consistently always released about two or two and a half years in between things from the first EP to the first album to the second album, and now we're about two and a half years away from for, or from that latest project. And so uh, I'm assuming something from Caswell would be coming out somewhat soon. Um, and he's also been saying on, on socials how much he's been loving the work he's been working on and excited to share it with everyone. So uh, I have fingers crossed for this one, Caswell. If anything, I would guess it would be a late 2023 release. So but yeah, those are things I am anticipating albums to look forward to in 2023. Uh, let me know anything in the comments that I may have missed any other projects that you know are maybe confirmed or rumblings or things you'd like to hear at some point. But uh, that's what hopefully 2023 has in store for us and you know this is shaping up to be a pretty solid year if all this stuff comes out this is this is going to be quite the year and so i'm excited for the future of music this year and i'm excited to also look back at all this and see uh, how much of this i was wrong or how much of this was right and uh yeah but other than that i've been bowtie media and i'll see you guys in another video